And welcome back to The Watchman, only right here on TBN. Well, folks, what an amazing day we had here in Jerusalem. Is there ever a bad day in Jerusalem? And getting the opportunity to take you through the city of David, an amazing place with a great tour guide, Zev Orenstein. It's a place that I strongly encourage you to visit next time you're in Jerusalem. And you will be coming to Jerusalem. We here at Christians United for Israel strongly encourage you to come to this city and discover your roots, discover the roots of your faith. And look, see for yourself. Go to the city of David. See Hezekiah's seal, Hezekiah's tunnel. See the place where many believe that King David's palace was. See the Pool of Siloam, the remains of the Pool of Siloam, the pathway up to the temple that the Jewish people took thousands of years ago, as the city of David clearly proves. But 2,000 years ago is where I want to wrap up. And the place I'm at right now is the western wall of the second temple, Herod's temple. And behind me, you see those large rocks. These were rocks that were thrown down from the Temple Mount in A.D. 70 as the Romans destroyed the Second Temple under the General Titus. Now, the goal of the Romans was to eliminate the Jewish presence from Jerusalem, from the land of Israel forever. And for many years, they succeeded. The Jewish people were scattered uh, to the ends of the earth. But guess what? Titus and the Romans ultimately failed because they ultimately vanished from the annals of history. Think about it, folks. The Romans, the Babylonians, the Greeks, the Nazis, the Ottomans, the Tsars, Haman, Pharaoh, all of them have ceased to exist as empires, as nations. But guess who remains against all odds? That's right, the Jewish people and the nation of Israel. And guess where they have returned? to the city of Jerusalem, to the city where God has written his name. It's very clear throughout the Bible and the city that he has given to the Jewish people as their eternal capital. Folks, I do not believe in coincidences, but I do believe what God says when he says in the Bible that the Jewish people will be scattered, but one day they will return never to leave this city for this land again. Well, guess what? That day is here. That's why it gives me great pleasure to say Am Yisrael Kai, the people of Israel live and they're not going anywhere. What a great thing. Well, thank you for joining us today in the amazing city of Jerusalem. Until next time, God bless you. And remember, never hold your peace.